This is an introduction to the compound microscope. As we progress through the slides, we'll identify the different parts and functions of a common compound microscope. As you can see, uh, the compound microscope uh, does use a light source located down at the bottom center. That light source is then uh, shined up through the diaphragm, ultimately uh, into the objectives and you view the specimen through the eyepiece or the ocular lens at the top. The eyepiece is the piece that you look through. It is usually uh, 10 times magnification on its own and you do not press your eye against it. Instead, you just simply look through it. The arm uh, is located on the right hand side. Um, the label is rather and that points to the support piece that will support the nose piece, the objectives, and your lens. When you are moving or carrying the microscope, you need to make sure that you hang on to the arm and the base. The stage is the black platform that is located in the center of the picture. That is the platform upon which the slide will sit, you never press or pull on this part. Doing so will cause damage to the actual microscope itself. If you want your slide, check that, if you want your stage to move up or down, you will use the course adjustment knob. The course adjustment knob is the largest knob the uh, label again is located on the right hand side pointing to the black large knob. You use this to initially bring the specimen into focus. When doing so, make sure you are never on the highest power. You will use this knob first followed by the fine adjustment knob. The fine adjustment knob um, is located just forward of the coarse adjustment knob in this picture. It is usually the smaller of the two adjustment knobs. This will make much smaller adjustments to the stage and will ensure that you bring your item into focus as you potentially would adjust or after adjusting uh, one of the objectives. When you're using this, make sure you are frequently checking the stage or you have somebody else monitoring the distance between the objectives and the slide so that you do not uh, run the objectives into the slide, uh, causing damage to both items. When you're on the highest power objective, make sure you're using strictly the fine adjustment knob. The base is something that I've mentioned before when I was referring to the arm. It is located at the very bottom. Uh, it is uh, what you would also support with one hand when you are moving or carrying the microscope. Usually the base will contain the light source. The light source is the item uh, along the left hand side of the label indicating the black ring that is center of the picture. There is no need to touch this in class. Um, instead, you will uh, just notice that a light will be emitted from this area towards the objectives and ultimately your eyes through the eyepiece. The diaphragm will control the amount of light that passes through it. Again, there is no need to adjust this in class. However, if there was something that you were looking at in which you needed less light to try to help bring it into focus, this is where you would make those adjustments located underneath the stage. The stage clips are what you use to hold the slide in place. So as you place your slide on the stage, you gently raise these clips up to hold the slide into place. Your objectives, which are your magnifications. Okay, these are lenses that are set at different magnification values. Um, another way to think of that is different zooms. Okay, so if you're using a low powered one, that is gonna zoom in the least amount. A high powered one, which tends to be the longest, is going to zoom in the most amount. Again, when you are using the highest power objective, you are to only use the fine adjustment knob. The revolving nose piece 
Now this is the section that you spin or rotate to adjust the different objectives. So when you want to switch between a different objective, you twist the nose piece. You do not ever push or pull the actual objective themselves. Again, that can cause damage to the objective. One of the last things is the body tube. The body tube um, is what allows the lens to set the appropriate distance apart from the actual arm and the objectives so that you can comfortably observe the different specimens while manipulating the microscope. All right, so after observing and watching this slideshow, it is now your turn to try to see if you can correctly identify each of the different parts. If you would go ahead and uh, either on a piece of paper quickly jot down uh, numbers 1 through 12 and see if you can identify what the correct uh, names of the pieces are. In order to check to see if you are correct, uh, you will have to go back and view the slideshow once more. If you find that you identify any incorrect or there are any that you are unsure of and you happen to leave blank, go watch the slideshow once more through paying special attention to those areas so that when you come to class, you are competent in your abilities to identify all 12 parts of the microscope. Thank you.